The Piaggio P7, also known as the Piaggio Pegna PC7, was one of the most radical projects in the history of racing seaplanes. Conceived in 1928 to 1929 by Giovanni Pegna of the Italian company Piaggio, it was designed specifically for the Schneider Trophy competition, the most prestigious international race for seaplanes at the time. The goal was to achieve maximum speed by eliminating the aerodynamic drag of traditional floats, which had long limited the performance of hydroplanes. Instead of floats, the P7 relied on its watertight fuselage, which floated directly on the water, and a pair of submerged hydrofoils mounted on struts beneath the wings. These hydrofoils were intended to lift the fuselage above the water surface during takeoff, drastically reducing drag. The design was a hybrid between a hydrofoil speedboat and a racing aircraft. The aircraft was powered by an Isata Fraschini V6 engine, rated at around 971,000 horsepower. This engine drove two separate propellers, a two-bladed tractor propeller at the nose for flight and a smaller marine propeller under the tail for acceleration on water. During takeoff, the pilot engaged the marine propeller while the flight propeller remained feathered. As the plane rose on its hydrofoils and cleared the water, the pilot would disengage the marine propeller, open the air intake, and engage the nose propeller to continue the run into the air. In theory, this sequence promised speeds of 580 to even 700 kilometers per hour, well beyond the limits of its contemporaries. Only one prototype was built. Testing began in 1929 on Lake Garda with pilot Tommaso Dalmolin. Trials revealed severe issues, Excessive spray blinded the pilot, and the complex clutch mechanisms for switching between propellers proved unreliable. Despite its promise, the aircraft never achieved flight. With the Schneider Trophy race approaching, Italy instead relied on Machi designs, leaving the P-7 abandoned. The Piaggio P-7 has since become a symbol of daring experimentation in aviation. Although it never flew, its concept of merging hydrofoil technology with aeronautics was decades ahead of its time. Today, the aircraft survives only in historical records and photographs, remembered as one of the boldest and most unconventional racing seaplane designs of the interwar period.